to get a to one minute more to get it cleared out for my mother okay. and, and all the mamas in the world. Once we start to act um, uh, from consciousness uh, instead of mind, yeah. You think people they become so loving and sharing and caring that everything runs around. We will get the things we need from Africa. The Chinese people will get the things. Okay, at that time, hopefully we won't call them Chinese anymore. But people from different places get get things what they need. For example, if we talk about technology, if we if we talk about um, building a house, or material for for these kind of things, or or is it extending that that reality? What you're talking about. Well, I think I think there's going to be a period where you know, in terms of all those things, it's going to be very challenging um, uh, for some people. But um, this is one of the things that I, I, I talk about in my events um, about abundance. Um, we, and it, it, it's about our state of perception that dictates whether we have abundance or whether we don't, because if you look at the holographic world that we experience every day um, and you think this is where um, everything comes from then you'll see limited resources limited that limited that for those to have have those must have not and you, you, you'll see scarcity you'll see um, a situation where there's not enough mm. they're bloody what well, it is even then but it seems that way but actually that is just the holographic reflection of this vibrational level of information, uh, which, which in, in some ways we call the subconscious. Um, for a simple, simple reason, we, we're not consciously aware of it with the, the conscious mind. Now, if you can implant into that level a sense of limitedness, of scarcity, of limits to everything, of some having so some must have not then that will manifest through into the holographic experience reality as um, an experience where there doesn't appear to be enough and some people have and some people don't have whereas if you can change that sense of reality you will project an experienced reality that reflects this and that will be a world of abundance for everybody. Um, this literally is, like everything, is this world that we experience is an, is an expression of the collective sense of reality of the human uh, collective uh, mind. What the, 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 the inner core of the control system know that. So what they do is program and implant senses of reality individually and collectively that they know if we accept them will play out into the holographic world as a holographic reflection of what's been implanted. Therefore if they can continue to constantly uh, programmers to believe in scarcity, mm. in not enough, in um, poverty being a fact of life, in some have so some don't, mm. then it will limited play oil, out limited. and that is the collective world that we will manifest. And going back to the question about you know what will the world be like, uh, the reason I said that it depends how many people wake up, that will uh, reflect itself massively on how what our experience is like it's for this reason um, if we if we open to consciousness in in, in larger uh, enough numbers then we will influence through that the collective perception of reality because we're all connected and therefore what plays out in a, the holographic experience of what we call the transition from from here to where we're going will be very, very much more harmonious. We will have so much more of what we need to, to do it less painfully and traumatically because that level of awareness will be transforming itself into transferring itself into the holographic experience. 
the more people who are closed-minded, more people who are identifying self with name and job and all the rest of it, in other words, their, 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 their um, uh, expressions of mind, then they will perceive what is happening in a very different way and they'll transform, from, uh, uh, transfer that through to the holographic so, and the experience will be very, very much more traumatic. So are you saying that actually... We're creating the world. We are the world. We create our own worlds in, in, our, in our mental and emotional and spiritual states which draw in people, places, ways of life and experiences, locations, etc. Or, or not. And collectively we do the same. Which is why the more awake the collective mind of humanity is in this period, the less traumatic and the more smooth will be the transition to a new reality because we will not see it in the terms that mind will see it and thus we will not manifest the holographic expression of mind seeing it like that which will be you know, great upheavals and the people not having enough and starvation and all this stuff. That is, that, is mind's, that is mind's perception, which has been programmed to have of reality. It ain't like that. We have that because we believe in it, and therefore what we believe, we perceive, what we perceive, we experience. So it's so important. It's the bottom line of all of this. Not is the control system coming down. It is. How expanded or open are we going to be to consciousness so that we make the transition far smoother and less traumatic than it needs to be. That depends on how many people wake up.